What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, the last couple of days I was playing around with Zubuntu 15.04 inside a virtual machine. It ran pretty good for a beta 2. The final release is due next week, but I thought I would show you this real quick. It's a very good lightweight Linux operating system uh, for beginners. If you have an old Windows XP machine laying around, take a look at this. Well, I've always liked the ability to right click on my desktop and go straight into my work. The desktop shortcut here, of course, with wallpapers and other options here, menu, icons. I was messing around with the size of the default uh, icons on the desktop. Default icon settings are at the bottom. I think I removed uh, the file system. Of course, you can just put it back on by checking it. Seems to be a folder choice integration with this. I believe that's new. Of course, your default icons on the desktop. All right, I believe this has the uh, the Thunar file manager. Very easy to use. All right, right click again. Again, your choice is there. Uh, the drop down software choices that looked a little bit like Windows XP, didn't it? Settings, consider this your control panel. I like the use of white space, the icons, choice, and the um, the colors. Of course, the top panel with the usual stuff sound settings, media player integration. If you've messed around with the Ubuntu family of operating systems, of Linux operating systems, eh, this should come as no surprise to you. Very easy to use. My networking, power management, Voco screen there, the shortcuts. I installed both Kazam and Voco screen. Seems okay. With this, with Ubuntu, I've always liked the ability to right click and add little applets little pieces of software on the panel such as a trash shortcut. You can move that around by right clicking, hold on to move. And you can add oh, or weather apple weather applet or whatever else you would like to add based on the choices there. You can change the appearance of the top panel as you see here. I just use the uh, default uh, setting there. You can add a um, panel if you so choose to. Click the green plus and there you have an immediate very small panel to get you started of course you can expand that add the applets as you go along i just go with the default top panel click the left start button if you want to call it the whisker menu there a nice search bar the usual suspects here favorites recently used all this probably has if you're coming from windows probably has everything you need at least to get started out of the box. Make sure you install all the updates, of course. Internet multimedia. Again, I installed Kazam and VocoScreen. Tested both. They seemed okay. Office Abbey Word, a great little fast little word processor piece of software there. I like that a lot. Go back to the start menu. We looked at Office. We go to settings. Again, many, many choices here. Uh, let's go to, I think I went into appearance, if I'm not mistaken, yes I did. Style there, many choices, or at least some choice, maybe not many choices. I think I got stuck on uh, Greybird, I believe. Yeah, Greybird, that's what I left it at, that's how I like it. Alright, let's go back to the start button again, go to system. I installed, I don't, I didn't like the, the default task manager. I installed the one from Lubuntu, the LX task manager. I do believe I just typed in tasks, chose the second option. And this is, uh, let's see, yeah, LX task. And this used about 400 megabytes of RAM with the recorder on. Not bad at all. Very fast, very lightweight, even inside a virtual machine. I recommend it. So take a look. 15.04 Ubuntu 15.04. This is only supported for nine months. It is not a long-term support release. If you like something a little bit more long-term, check out Ubuntu 14.04. I believe that's good for a total of three years. I recommend it. All right, let's see. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and vote for the April YouTuber of the month. Uh, maybe somebody new does not have to be necessarily associated with technology. Maybe someone you think deserves more attention. And I'll have links for all of this stuff below in the show notes. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Subscribe if you haven't. 
And as always, I will catch you sometime in your technology future.